So my name is Dr. Elaine Halley. I'm a general dental practitioner working in Perth in Scotland. Um, and the reason I really love working with the iTero as part of a restorative workflow is because it not only elevates the accuracy of the work that I'm doing, but also enables increased communication both with the patient but also with my dental technician. One of the most important partnerships in making sure that, that as dentists we're able to deliver work that our patients are pleased with and that's predictable is that communication piece between us and our dental technicians. And I believe that can't start early enough in the process. One of the problems with communication uh, in the sort of two-dimensional world is I'll receive a lab ticket, I'll receive a WhatsApp, I'll receive a, you know, an email, um, and it might come from the practice, it might come from the dentist, it might have come from the dentist at home when they're treatment planning, and it, it might go to my reception, it might come to me, it might go to one of my CAD team. And trying to piece all of that information together can be quite a challenge. The nice thing with digital uh, is that all of this comes into a, like a singular point. So through the software, through the iOS scanner, you can send images, you can send your notes, you can send x-rays, you can send video. Everything that is encompassed with the case all comes through a central portal and appears directly in my software. Using the digital workflow means we've got the virtual patient, we've got the scan, we've got the STL file, and using the iTero platform, we can send that and get feedback back. The technicians can share designs with us. We can even share those designs also with the patient in certain cases, and just make sure that we've all come to a collaborative agreement before we even commit to any of the work. And that all should be done at the beginning, because once we're into a case, often the decisions have been made, the finances may have been agreed with the patient, and then if something has to change, it's, it's us that have to put that right, which is not ideal and causes a lot of stress. So when scanning preps with iTero, you've got the ability to scan the actual prep of each tooth in an HD format, which basically just means it's higher definition. There's more content of information in those scans than there is on the scans, for instance, for a study model. It's also an advantage when you're looking at occlusal clearance to be able to use tools like the occlusogram. So once you've prepared the tooth and you think you've taken away adequate amount, being able to use the tools to visualize, oh, I maybe just need to reduce the distal margin a little bit more. You can easily just cut that section out from the scan, reprep, and just scan that bit, and it's added in. So it saves time. You haven't got to go back and, and do the whole thing again. Also, the ability to have your dental technician evaluate your preps, particularly in bigger cases where maybe you're, you're thinking about where should I finish the margin here? Is this okay? It can be helpful to have your technician just cast their eye over your preps and all your passive insertion and all those angles, just another set of eyes on it, and be able to give you some suggestions about changes that you could make all seamlessly across a digital workflow rather than putting the patient into temp, sending them away, and then getting that call from your lab to say that you have to make alterations and change things. The ability to receive a scan, assess it for the clinician, make sure the preps are right, any adjustments, any minor trimming we need, path of insertion, a missing margin, that can be fed immediately back to the dentist. So again, looking at the prep design, the ability in the post-processing on iTero to go back and actually make sure that the margins are clear and the software will give an estimate of where the margin is or it will give its best guess and quite often that's right. But sometimes you want to just be able to tweak the margin so that your technician can see exactly where you mean to finish your restoration. And that's really easy to do on iTero. You have full access to be able to move margins and to be able to make sure that the HD capture includes the prep of the tooth but also the contacts of the neighboring tooth I find helpful to make sure that you've really captured in high definition the prep you can design your margin and you can make sure that the contact points are very clearly captured as well. I think also with complex cases, another tool I find really useful is being able to do the pre-treatment scan. So I might have the patient in temporaries or it may just be their initial bite setup. But unlike in analog where I used to have to 
prep some of the teeth and then make a sectional bite and then prep the next section and make a sectional bite. And it, it, you had to really plan it out. How were you going to capture the prep to prep bite articulation? Um, using the digital workflow, if we've, as long as we've set up the bite correctly in our temporaries, we can scan, or in our provisionals, we can scan that um, and do our preps and use that pre-op scan as the um, reference for the bite. And that's, that's much more accurate than, than the analog world. The accuracy of, accuracy of fit isn't an issue, certainly not with single units and not with three unit bridges and even complex restorative cases going cross arch as long as you understand how to capture the, the soft tissue um, so that the overlaying of the scans is reproducible um, the accuracy is absolutely there for that and then when we move into the actual restoration design again i think having that communication with the dental technician um, before we're totally committed to the end of the case is very helpful. If you've got, for instance, um, teeth of different colors, so say you're trying to mask a post in a tooth next to some veneers, making sure that you've communicated with your dental technician the depth that he needs or she needs to be able to mask out different colors is really helpful. So for instance, NIRI, the NIRI function on the Itero 5D gives the dental technicians a lot of extra information about the structure of the teeth and the HD picture gives them the actual um, intraoral pictures that help to make those decisions about how we're going to get these different coloured substrates to look the same in the final result. Conventional dentistry for example, and let's say we go back a few years and we were doing a wax up, wax up. The difficulty I have is that we would use a stone model and we do a wax up, wax up and then we would send it in the post Dentists would look at it, discuss it with the patient. There's a risk of it getting damaged in the post. And there's all these problems. And then we send it back to the lab for adjustment. And, and, and that's a challenge. And even just a diagnostic wax up can be three or four appointments, which is an incredible waste of chair time. With digital dentistry, what we can do is that uh, a scan can come through. I can do my diagnostic wax up and I can then share that directly uh, to the clinician. The clinician can look at it very initially, just even on an iPhone or on, on, the, on the software or on the computer, check that diagnostic wax up. Have a very quick conversation with me. Look, you know, wax up looks great. Teeth could be a little bit longer. She wants those two centrals a bit taller, a bit longer, a bit wider. We can then make those tweaks and adjustments. I'll then send that straight back. And actually then you can have that discussion with the patient. So before we've done any preparation, any changes to the patient, any sort of committed work, we can actually have a very open conversation and share that information openly with the patient. And I think from the patient's experience, seeing their wax up with a 2D or a 3D facial image, and we can use a little slider to go back and forth and we can show them this is your before and this is your after, and we can show them how much tooth being prepared and we, we can demonstrate ethical dentistry. And it, it's a very, very powerful tool. I look back at the old way we used to do dentistry and I'm, I suppose I'm a little bit mortified. The new way of doing it is just so much more ethical and it really engages the patient into modern dentistry. It, it's, a, it's a really uh, good tool. So never think of your iOS solely as just an impression taker because it's something vastly more powerful than that. And, and, an, and a good iOS really has the ability to revolutionize your practice.